Oh, safe spot. Yay. Wait a minute. I see an uh huh. Oh, let's not save just yet, cuz. I don't think I'm gonna have to deal with any enemies immediately. Oh, that's where I came from. Duh. Ha ha ha. Gotta try every door, because you just never know. <laughs> I wouldn't, didn't really expect any of these doors to open, but... Uh, hmm. Well... I guess there is nothing else to find in this apartment room. Nope. Okay. I will indeed save then. You know, I haven't decided yet what ending I'm going to try to get. Um, which ending do you guys want to see me get? I'm just curious. I'm, I may just go ahead and, and go for the escape ending, because it's my favorite, but I pretty much get that one every time I play, because it's always the one I'm going for, so... I don't know. I guess I'll probably go with escape, but if you guys particularly want to see a different ending, let me know, I guess. Okay, where am I now? Hmm, stairway. Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm sort of retracing the steps of Pyramid Head because this is the side of the um thing he was on and then I'm presumably I'm going where he must have gone what are you looking at is there something on the floor over here ah oh, I didn't even see what that was I think it was bullets hammering on the button so fast I didn't get a chance to So let's see, where am I now? Aha, uh -huh, new rooms. Oh, and I'm about to I'm about to get to where that key is. Ooh, and I think I know where else I'm gonna about to get to as well. Oh boy. You don't ever want to hear static. <laughs> you just don't ever want to hear that. Oof. You don't want to hear monster sounds on top of static, definitely. <laughs> ah! Luna! <laughs> uh, oh, awkward. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt your moment there. Pyramid Head basically moves around like he's drunk in this game. Read somewhere that they did that intentionally. He's also supposed to look like he's in pain. I 
have to see what I'm gonna have to see what my stupid cat wants in a second. She's bugging me. Yeah, she picked an interesting time. I as soon as I went into this uh went in through the door and it got dark, I'm like, oh god, that cutscene is coming, and all of a sudden, meow! <sighs> what do you want? Meow! <sighs> All right, I fed her. Hopefully she'll shut up for a while now. He's not saying anything. I thought for sure I remembered him saying something. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking of, uh, Travis. In origin. God, that's some uh, urgent music. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> I think it's supposed to make me think he's coming back or something, even though he doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. So why does James hide- I guess what happened is, like, yeah, people joke about James being stupid, and this is another reason why. What I think happened was he came in, he was about here. Uh, let's see, where was it happening? Okay. I, I actually don't recall how far he stepped. Basically, he, it was happening here. I guess he was afraid he wouldn't be able to make it to the door without being seen, so he hid in here. Or maybe he was just, like, so morbidly curious about what was going on that he had to, like, go, what the fuck is this? And he just couldn't keep himself from watching? I don't know. I guess that is kind of dumb, but, nah. You can't blame a guy too much for, you know, for messing up when he's, uh, obviously in panic. <laughs> he's obviously in panic mode. Laura's key. Whoa! Okay. Ugh. Stay down there. Ugh. Yeah. I'll teach him. What am I looking at here? Yay, bullets. <laughs> I'm not even bothering with the bullets yet. So far I have no real need to use them. Okay, so windows boarded shut. I like how when you walk over a corpse of a monster, it leaves like bloody footprints. <laughs> Just thought that was kind of neat. I know in some other games it makes squishy sounds when you walk over the blood. Oh shit. Where are you? There you are. Oh, shit. Come back here. Hey. I'm not finished with you yet. Where are you? for trying to get away from me. Bitch. You don't fuck with James, man. <laughs> James is a badass. He will fuck your shit up. You know, they really should have had, like, a, you know... Uh, trying to think of extra weapons they have in this game, like, after you, you know, beat the game and start a new one. I think the only, the only one I can think of is the chainsaw. They really should have had, like, a pillow. <laughs> I want to fight monsters by trying to smother them with a pillow. I wonder 
if they're going to put any extras in HD collection that weren't in the original. I didn't think about that. I don't think they are. I think they would have... They would have... I would have heard something about that by now. But yeah, they really should have like a pillow as a hidden weapon. <laughs> pillow fight! Hmm... <laughs> That would have been even funnier if they had James yell pillow fight any time a monster showed up. Okay, I'm sorry for my bad sense of direction, but th I don't know. To me, these apartments are, are laid out really weird. Maybe I'm just an idiot, but... <laughs> okay. I made it out of the apartment without getting lost. Mmm... <laughs> be a word. Yes, my bad sense of direction is legendary. I am the I am the Ryoga Hibiki of Let's Players. So wait, where am I right now? <laughs> See, told ya. Okay, um, looks like I've been everywhere I can go. Um, let me see if I have any keys I haven't- Yo, wait a minute, I know I do, cause I- Oh, fire escape key and courtyard key. Um, where is the fire escape? I think that might be it, actually, so let me- Go back to where I was. Do, do, do. Okay, I just need to go in a straight line. I think I can handle that. <laughs> uh. All oh, right. <laughs> uh... Oh, I was I was going the right way because I was on the stair. God damn it! That was not my bad sense of direction. That was bad memory there. Oh man! Ah. Okay, where am I now? Okay, I guess I'm using the court card. The courtyard key instead. Wait a minute, where am I? Have I been here before? Oh, well, look at that. Okay, yeah, that's, I, I went down a different stairway, so there we go. I got more rooms to theoretically look in if they are unlocked. They probably won't be. Apparently in Downpour, none of the, uh, you will be able to go into every single door you come across. Watch there be hardly any doors. <laughs> hmm. I did say Downpour, didn't I? What's this? Can juice, yay! <laughs> ah, all that just for some can juice. That's okay, though, I know what to do with it. Turn around, James. Fuck. Oh no, I'm not trying to- I'm trying to change the camera angle, not get him to turn around. Ugh. Whatever. Camera angle? Fuck. Whatever. Hmm, what's here now? Now it's unlocked. I think I know where this leads. Lucky Jade Restaurant. What? Oh, that's off to the side there. Yeah, 
and that would be here theoretically. Oh, I know what I'm going to come across here. Ha! <laughs> Garbage. No use for that. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. I thought that was where I came across the Walter Sullivan article. Oh, well. Hmm. Apparently it was a different garbage dump. Have I been here? Oh, no, I haven't. Neat. Oh, yeah, courtyard. Oh, that's right. There's more part. Oh, yeah, there's a. Uh a pool there, I think. Let me go ahead and save. I'm trying to think if I died when I did, last time I played this game, when I did my, uh, captured the footage for the game den. I don't think I did. I think the only time I died was when I got really careless and I tried to get, I got too close to Pyramid Head during that boss battle. And, uh, And he just turned around and gave me a good whack with the uh, the great knife and, and uh, just killed me instantly with one hit. That was pretty damn impressive. Which inspired me to make that comment. One hit with a great knife and you are toast. <laughs> because it is so true. See, uh, I think there's. I'm thinking there's a swimming pool around here. Ooh, where are they? Where are you? Screw it, I'm gonna use my gun. I think there is something in that pool I'm supposed to get. Crap. I don't want to go in the swimming pool until they're dead. I know I'm wasting a lot of ammo here, but oh well. Sorry. <laughs> uh, guy just felt some pain and he doesn't know why. I read a read an interview with with Guy Sehe where he, um, of course, if you don't know, he plays James. I'm sure everybody knows that by now. But uh, he says that um, that was really hard filming all the yeah because of course he did the motion capture and. Uh, Filming scenes where James falls down and stuff. Um, obviously, it was, you know, <laughs> kind of hard on him. It was painful and stuff. And he says that 
Whenever, uh, whenever James falls down, I feel it. <laughs> of course, that's not going to keep me from doing it anyway, just because I'm a little bit sadistic and I like watching James fall painfully. Where's a good angle where I can do that? Oh, no, I feel bad. I won't do that anymore. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that when the monsters were in the pool. <laughs> it doesn't take him long to get up, but I just didn't want to chance it just cuz I would It was just a dumb little thing anyway. Was it worth risking James's life for? Also, let me switch weapons here. Oh, God. This town is full of monsters. Oh, almost got me there. I'm trying to get him to kick. There we go. James' uh, kick doesn't look as badass as a... Or stomp, I guess, doesn't look as badass as Henry's stomp. Henry has the best stomp, I think. I hear throw-up-y sounds. I, I read a... I can't decide if he's kidding or not, but I read a, an interview with Dave... I don't know how to say his last name, but the guy who played Eddie. And he said the part of the reason he got the job was because his uh, throwing up sounds were so uh, convincing. <laughs> of course, I went the wrong way. I knew that was going to happen. Ugh, I hate that noise. Let me hurry up and get this damn cutscene over so I don't have to hear that anymore. Where's a door? There we go. <laughs> like I said, he makes a great first impression. Ooh, sweat stains and everything. Blech. Eddie's nasty. Really went out of their way to make it as gross as possible, didn't they? <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Do what? <laughs> I didn't do anything. He thinks he doth protest too much. He was like this when I got here. <coughs> my uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. <laughs> my name's Sunderland. Eddie. James Sunderland. Eddie. <laughs> Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? <laughs> the one I haven't looked at I yet. I, Oops. I swear I didn't kill anybody. Right. You're not friends with that red <laughs> pyramid. <thing. laughs> That's my favorite bad that line. Pyramid thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know either, Eddie. Honest, <laughs> but I did see some weird-looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh. I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just... I just... You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? I didn't hear you. I'm too busy throwing up. Yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I... I, um... I love you. You be careful, too. Sorry. 
Uh, no, I, actually, I think Eddie was, uh... I think he was thinking of making a confession there. James, I, uh, I, I actually did kill that guy. I think is what he kind of wanted to say, and then he chickened out. Yeah, here it is. Here's the, the dead body we were talking about, even though I hadn't looked at it yet. Oops. What the? Who could have done this? So yeah, um, that, rem that that conversation reminded me of something. One of the reasons it bothers me that that Pyramid Head shows up in later games is that um, James specifically asks Eddie if he's seen it, and Eddie says he hadn't. And um, I suppose you could say he's lying or something, but he admitted to seeing monsters, but. He did not see Pyramid Head, so if Pyramid Head just appears before anyone who is guilty of murder or whatever, you know, why doesn't Eddie see it? Why didn't Angela see it? In fact, I don't recall if if it's specifically mentioned if Angela saw Pyramid Head or not. I, I It just seems like that would have come up in conversation, you know? If she had. So... You know, why is it that Eddie and Angela, who have both... Well, actually, I guess Eddie hasn't actually... I take that back. Eddie hasn't actually committed murder. <laughs> Clearly, he has a lot of guilt, though. And I, I think that Eddie feels like uh, what he did was as bad as murder. Or that he can at least get in as much trouble for it. So, you know, if Eddie has all this guilt, you know, why doesn't he see Pyramid Head? So, you know, why is it Eddie and Angela can't see Pyramid, but freaking, like, Alex Shepard and, and Travis Grady can see him? That's just, that's just... That's a weird little inconsistency there, and, and... If they really made Pyramid Head out to be, like... Something that anyone can see in this game, I could see that, but they make it a point to... They make it a point to say that only James saw him. Because he's a creation of James. That's what I get from this, and that's why it bothers me that Pyramid Head shows up in later games. I, I just don't feel that it belongs there. Actually, about time I quit pretty soon. I've been playing for a little over an hour. And I'm in unexplored territory, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, 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 there's a safe spot right there. Well, that is, that is perfect. I was thinking I was going into a new area for some reason. Yeah, there it is. All right. Awesome. Yes, I will save. Alright, thanks for watching, and once again, I will see you next time.